Hi friends, thanks for joining me again this week. This week I'm gonna read two stories to you and they're both very short, but the first one is called God to the Rescue and it's from the Jesus Storybook Bible and it's from Exodus 3. So let's read this. Joseph and his brothers grew old and died, but their children's children stayed on in Egypt where they became a very large family. Later on a new king began to rule, but this Pharaoh didn't remember Joseph. And he didn't like God's people. He made them into his slaves and he beat them and made them work harder and harder. God's people cried out to God to rescue them. And God heard them. He remembered his promise to Abraham. He would look after his people. He would find a way to set them free. One day Moses was looking after sheep when something caught his eyes. A bush was behaving very oddly. It was flickering with flames, but its leaves weren't burning up. He took a closer look. Moses! boomed a big voice. Moses leapt back. The bush was talking to him. I have heard my people's cries, God said. I have seen their tears, so I have come down to rescue them. Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go free. Moses was afraid, but God said, I will be with you. And there is that burning bush talking to Moses. Now, the next one we are going to read is actually called Moses and the Burning Bush. Now, there's not a lot of pictures in this story, but I'm going to hold it up so you can see them anyway. And this is also from Exodus, ex Exodus 3. Moses took care of sheep in the desert. One day he saw a bush that was on fire, but the bush did not burn up. Amazing, said Moses. Why isn't that bush burning up? I must go over to see this. God's voice called to Moses from the bush. Here I am, Moses answered. Take off your shoes, God said. This is a special, this is special dirt. Moses was afraid, so he took off his shoes and he listened to God. God said, go and help my people escape from Egypt. Moses said, who, me? I can't help your people. Moses didn't think the, the mean Pharaoh would listen to him. Yes, you, God said, go for I will be with you. Moses asked, what should I tell the people? God said, tell them that I sent them, sent you. Tell the people I will lead them to a new land. Then tell the Pharaoh that he must let my people go. So Moses went to Egypt and God helped him. And that is the end of that story. So we're still learning about Moses and this was a whole different part of the story. Last week we talked about the baby Moses and how he was rescued. And now we're learning about the burning bush. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads and pray together. Dear Lord, thank you so much for always teaching us something new. And thank you for being with us and help us to listen to you. In Jesus name, amen. All right, thanks for joining me this week and I will see you next time. Bye. Hello boys and girls. Hello moms and dads. Oh my goodness, isn't this an amazing story that we are going to study during the life of Moses. We began this unit last week when Miss Clarissa told us about Moses when he was born, how God protected him and how Moses gave his mother the wise idea to hide him until she could put him in the basket and how his sister Miriam looked out for him. Even though there was trouble in Egypt, God took care of Moses so that he could grow up and become a man of God. Well, boys and girls, for the month of July, you should have received your new packet. And this is one of our summer months where we're so happy to go outside, to go to the beach, be on vacation, and to celebrate the holiday this weekend called the 4th of July. We'll talk about that a little later. But our story today continues when Moses has grown up from being a baby in the basket, has grown up in Pharaoh's palace, and now is a grown up man. God had a special plan for him, but Moses didn't know it all yet. Moses was out in the field, tending his sheep, taking care of his sheep. Yes, Moses was a shepherd. When God wanted to speak to him about a very important plan he had for his life, and we know from the story that Moses looked over there 
and saw that there was a fire in the bushes. Oh, have to watch out. We don't want to be near a forest fire, do we? Maybe Moses thought it was going to be a forest fire. But then he looked again and the bush wasn't burning up or catching fire with other things. So he went closer and he looked at the bush and an angel of God spoke to Moses through the fire in the bush. I'm reading this in my Bible in the book of Exodus chapter three. Moses went close to the bush and as he got closer, he heard his name called Moses. Moses, he knew they were calling, this name, they were calling him. Moses said, here I am. God's angel said, do not come any closer. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are is holy ground. <gasps> wow. Imagine being right there with God himself. That is grander than any king or queen or president that we might even meet in our lifetime. To be right there with God calling us by name. And Moses had to listen because he knew God was speaking to him. God had a plan because he had looked and he had seen and he had heard that the Israelites were suffering greatly in Egypt, that they were being made to be slaves and were treated very unfairly and very harshly. And God said to Moses, I have seen the suffering of my people and I have heard their cries and I am going to come down and rescue them. And he wanted Moses to be one of the people for God's rescue plan to go forward. Well, he had a plan for Moses and that was to go see that wicked King Pharaoh and to tell that King, let my people go. That was God's plan for them. Well, you know, God has plans for us. And as we grow each year, each day, each month, and each year, we learn more about what God has in store for us. Sometimes it just seems like such a big deal. It's such a hard thing. But God says in our relationship with him that he will always be with us. And that is the promise that he made to Moses. I will be with you. I want you to go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. Well, Moses must have gone to bed that night and probably couldn't go to sleep because he was so excited about God's plan and thinking about, is God really asking me to do this? And is God going to go with me? And the answer is yes and yes. Well, today we can remember that God will be with us no matter where we are and where we go. If you take your packet and you turn a few pages inside, we are going to make a special craft today. And we are going to make a burning bush to remind us that God is with us wherever we go. I will be with you at the bottom of this page that you can trace that verse, trace the letters of that verse to remind you. So let's look in our packet, boys and girls. We're gonna take out a few things. You're going to need a paper plate that's cut out a little bit like a tree shape, a package of tissue paper cuts, red, orange, and yellow. And there's a verse on a sticker. You're going to need crayons and a glue stick. And so I'm going to take my, I'm gonna take this paper plate that's cut like a tree and I'm gonna to begin to color it. I'm gonna use 
my green and my brown crayons. And I'm going to use the brown for the trunk and the green for the leaves. And then I'm going to take my glue stick. You can use liquid glue if you want, but I liked the glue stick. And I'm going to put the glue stick all around the top of the tree where the leaves are. And I'm going to crinkle up my tissues and I'm going to put them on the top and create build a fire on this bush to remind me that God's angel spoke to Moses through the burning bush, but the bush did not burn up. And then you can put your sticker on with the verse that God said to Moses, I will be with you in Exodus 3.12 to remind us that wherever we go and whatever we do, God will be with us too, and he will take care of us. God speaks to us through his Bible, and in his Bible, we have a new memory verse for this month. It's found in the book of Joshua, and it's just what Moses needed to know at that time. And this is what it says. I will read it to you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. It's kind of a long verse, but it makes a lot of sense. This is God speaking. Let's try it together. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. Can you say it with me now this time? Let's try it. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Boys and girls, in your packet, you have a page that will allow you to decorate this verse. And it's the very same verse. And then it has lots of empty, empty space around the verse so that you can make a border. You can color some of the letters. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 And if you color this verse this week and would like to send it to me, have your mom take a picture or your babysitter take a picture and send it to me and I will show it to our friends who are watching next week. You know, I've been thinking about this verse a lot these days because Moses needed to have courage and to be strong and courageous. Not be afraid of Pharaoh and not be discouraged because the Lord, his God, would be with him wherever he goes. And boys and girls, I want to tell you that I need to trust this verse too for God to help me. I am going to be retiring from my job at the church at the end of this month on August 1st. And this is going to be the last month that I'm going to have the wonderful chance to talk to you on these videos. And I will need to be strong and courageous and not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord my God will be with me wherever I go. My husband and I are going to continue to take care of each other. And we have family members that I need to take care of too that need my help. And I'm going to be looking for new and different ways where I can love God and serve others after I finish my job at the church. And the church will find someone new to come in and take my place in, my, in the work that I do at the church. We are not moving because we're going to be taking care of family members who live here. And, but I am going to need to be strong and courageous and not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord my God will be with me wherever I go. And he will help me find new ways to love and care for others and to serve him. 
So I wanted to let you know that this is a very special month for me because I'm going to look forward to talk to you each week during the month um, and finish off on August 1st. But I will see you on Sundays. Well, boys and girls, I wanted to let you know that I found a very fun song that talks about Moses going to Pharaoh and saying, let my people go. And I would like to sing that song with you today. And we'll turn it on. So if you're getting ready to do a little moving and dancing, I think you might like this song. with Pharaoh, God was with Moses when he went to Pharaoh. And even though Moses was very nervous and afraid, God was his strength. God will be my strength and God will be your strength because he will go with us wherever we go. Boys and girls, I hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. Maybe you'll have a cookout or a barbecue or see a parade or see fireworks. Whatever you do, we are glad in our country that we can go to church freely whenever we want. And now with the pandemic restrictions lightening up, we can go to church every Sunday. I will look forward to seeing you there and I wish you a very fun 4th of July. I will see you next week.